In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to use automation to update fields in Salesforce. I'll be going over a clear example, demonstrating how to set it up and how it works inside of the system. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up Salesforce for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to automatically update a field on a record when something changes within your Salesforce system, okay? So if we head over to our opportunities, just as an example for this video, I'm just gonna to go to an example opportunity. And you can see here, we've got this field called high value. Now, if I press the pencil button to go and edit this uh, particular field, you can see we've got a high value and a low value. And what I would like to do is I would automatically like to update this particular field based on certain criteria on the opportunities. So what I want to do is I want to update to define whether this is a high value or low value opportunity based on when the when the stage of the opportunity is equal to proposal slash price quote and the amount is ab above 10,000. So if the amount is above 10,000, this is going to be a high value opportunity. If the amount is below 10,000, then it's going to be a low value opportunity, okay? And that is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do in this video. But this is, can of course be applied to anywhere in your Salesforce system. So if you'd like to update a particular field based on something else happening, it's very easy to do so using what I'm about to show you. So if we go to the cog in the top right hand corner and go to the setup page, we then need to go to the quick find at the top left hand corner and just search for flows, go under process automation and then go to the flows area, okay? And then in the top right hand corner, we wanna go ahead and create a new flow. So go ahead and select that option. And what we would like to do is actually use a record triggered flow. A few different options here, I'm not gonna go into detail, but essentially we are triggering this record when a record is created, updated or deleted, okay? So go ahead and select that option and press the create button. Now we firstly need to define our trigger, okay? So if I go to object and search for opportunity as that is the object that is going to be part of our trigger, I need, then need to define my trigger. So trigger the flow when, and then I've got a few different options. A record is created, updated, created or updated, or when a record is deleted. Now in this particular instance, I'm gonna just use the updated, okay? So it's unlikely that an opportunity is going to be created, it's gonna go straight to the proposal slash price quote stage, and it's gonna have an amount in just immediately like that. So it's probably best and most applicable if I just use record is created. Uh, sorry, when a record is updated. There may be a few instances where this is applicable. There's no reason why you can't select this option. I'm just not going to for this particular video. And then once we've done that, we need to set our trigger entry conditions, okay? So we've got a few different options here. All conditions are met, that's an and basis. Any condition is met, that's an or basis. Custom condition logic is met, so that's and or. And then we've got formula evaluates to true, so that's just using formula. Now, in this instance, I wanna go ahead and select all conditions are met. Now, I've got two conditions that I need to define. Firstly, the stage. When the stage is equal to price uh, proposal slash price quote. And then the other condition is and condition is equal to amount go ahead and select the amount field and then is equal to or greater than greater than or equal to 10,000. So in this particular flow we're triggering uh, the flow to fire when the the amount is above uh, above and it will set the higher value and then what we can do is create another flow that will trigger when it is below 10,000 okay and set it as a low value opportunity. So those are my two options those are my two and conditions okay. And then once I've set those, I need to define when to run the flow for updated records. And now you can have it every time, but you do not want this because it will just constantly update every time you save that record. So you only want it to happen once, only when a record is created to meet the condition requirements. So only once when it's updated. Now we need to select how to optimize this flow. So we've got actions and related records, but in this instance, we want fast field updates. As we're updating a field, we want it to happen instantly, okay? So be fast field updates is what we are optimizing for. And once you're happy, press the done button. Congratulations, you now created your trigger. We just now need to create our action. So if you go to the plus button here, and then what we wanna do is go and search through elements and we wanna to go to update records. Okay, so go ahead and select the update records. I'm just gonna label this action as update records. 
you can call it whatever you like the api name will automatically be filled in now how to find records to update and set the values use the opportunity record that triggered the flow now we are we are stuck using this option because we selected the fast action updates and that is because we are updating the same record whereas if you didn't select or optimize for uh, fast records you would have the other options available here but in this instance for this particular video i'm just going to use this and then we need to select some filter conditions again you can add additional filter conditions on top of your trigger conditions. However, in this instance, it is not necessary for us. And then we just need to search for the field. So the field being the high value field, and then we need to select whether it's high value or low value. Now in this flow, we said that if it was greater than 10,000 and the stage was equal to proposal slash price quote, then we would define the high value field as being a high value opportunity. And once you're happy, just go ahead and press the done button, go to the top right hand corner and press save. And you just need to give your flow a name. So I'm gonna call this example flow. The API name will be automatically be populated. And then all you need to do is go ahead and press activate in the top right hand corner. And then if we head back to our opportunities, I'm just gonna move this to the example stage, markets current stage. You can see that the high value field does not contain any data at all. The amount is 10, uh, the amount, sorry, is 11,000. As soon as I select this as our current stage, you can see that the high value field has now been populated with high value. Now, if I actually move this back to the example stage, change the amount to 9,000, which is below the criteria that we set, press the save button. And then what I'll do is I will set this back to none, press save. And then if we move it to proposal slash price quote, market's current stage, you'll see that this particular field has not updated. And what we can do is go ahead and run another flow that says when the amount is equal to 9,000 or less and the stage is equal to proposal slash price quote, then set the value as low value. So that you can literally just replicate exactly what we've created. If you then head back to the flow, deactivate it, you can make changes if you would like to. Hopefully this video has been of value and I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you have now got your automation set up and you can update fields in Salesforce automatically. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment down below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.